everyone and welcome back to Stock Trek. And on this trek, I am going to take us a little below space. We're just going to drop it down a notch, okay? We're going to go more into the uh, little lower in the atmosphere this time. So what I wanted to bring to your attention is definitely going to be more in the uh, uh, aerospace industry versus the space industry. So this particular stock that I'm going to touch base on is, you know, for me, it's an investment in the future of transportation. So this stock that I am going to discuss with you on this Space Day Sunday is none other than Lilium. Now, Lilium is basically an electric vertical takeoff and landing uh, airplane, if you want to speak, a, like an electric jet is what they like to call it. Um, I don't really see it so much as a jet, but more of a, an electrical, uh, you know, fan that they have. But the point is, is that it's electric and it's basically like a flying Tesla. Okay, I don't know how else to describe it. I hate kind of, you know, pinning it with Tesla. I know Tesla is a king on its own, but Lilium is basically, to me, the Tesla of the skies in that, you know, it's, it's not a car, but it's definitely going to change our transportation. So let's go take a view at this stunning, gorgeous masterpiece of a vehicle. Now, Lilium's cabin offers the feel of a private jet experience. It gives passengers up to six people and an additional passenger is the seventh who is the pilot to give you a prestigious feeling on your flight. Lilium's cabin is highly versatile. It can be changed and modified to suit whatever needs may come up. For example, the traditional seating style would be the seven seating uh, for the passengers, the seventh passenger being the pilot. So the seven seating will definitely be highly utilized during their air taxi service with the Lilium jets. Then moving forward, we have a four seating configuration, which gives it more of a private company like feel, you know, for, for business trips, or even, you know, if you want to have that private jet like feel with your friends, you can get even more intimate with their four seating style configuration. Not to mention, uh, companies can utilize Lilium to carry payloads, uh, you know, and do transportation. So you can actually take out the seats and utilize the space strictly for transportation of goods. Talk about a whole nother type of payload other than going to space, right? Also, since our main focus has always been on space stocks, Lilium, in a way, accomplishes that. Because Lilium has partnered with NASA out of Lake Nona to act as cargo carrying drones and passenger holding drones in NASA's Advanced Air Mobility Initiative. Now Lilium stock has dropped a lot below NAV. Lilium's current stock price uh, as of close was $3.06 um, on March 4th uh, at closing over the weekend. Uh, after hours it went up quite a bit there, a um, little bit. But the highest it's been was, you know, Pretty, pretty up here, uh, you know, close about 14. And then that was back, you know, in about February of 2001. And it's just really hit the fan since then. Uh, as you can see, it's just kind of, eh, it's just kind of like gone down all the way to like about, you know, the $3 range, which, you know, it's well below the initial uh, $10 uh, price line of the NAV here. But 
Um, this steep decline here, of course, is, has got to do with a lot of other outside pressures in the market from, you know, the Fed's uh, worry of interest rate hikes, of course, the, the uh, war going on with uh, Ukraine and Russia, and, you know, a lot of uncertainty in the market um, and the fact that it is, um, you know, it's not cash flow positive yet, and it was a SPAC. So all these things were, were downward pressures, pushing the stock all, all the way down to where it is now. But I'm really loving this company, and, you know, I'm not terrified of this decline because, you know, it's going to take a, a few years for them to get going, but I'm really excited to see this shoot back up, uh, you know, once they get some more milestones accomplished. So, you know, right now, the share price is totally tanked and the reason being is that this concept is you know it, it hasn't come to fruition yet okay it's not cash flow positive however they have inked a lot of potential agreements uh you know with with, with other companies if, in regards to the infrastructure in regards to future orders in regards to partnerships in other countries and places so they are making ground in momentum and bringing this vision that they have into a reality in the near future. Lilium is projecting to get their vertiports operating and running by the year 2025. It's definitely probably, in my eyes, not going to happen that soon. I think it's going to take a little longer to get the infrastructure, to get the product, to get everything to come together into working order. I do think that this is an investment that will pay off. Um, normally, I do talk strictly about space-related stocks. However, I have personally invested in this stock. I am not by any means trying to tell you to invest in it, but I do want to educate you on how interesting this company is and how it could be a future game changer in the mode and area of transportation. So also disclaimer, uh, just because I invest in something doesn't mean I'm telling you to please do your own due diligence and uh, be wise with your money. Uh, that's, you know, don't ever just, you know, listen to somebody and sink all your money into one stock, you know, always do your due diligence, always only invest what you're willing to lose, always diversify, be comfortable, uh, with the company that you are investing in, do your background research. Those are all very important things. But, uh, what I try to do my best is I try to educate you all you know, in regards to these different companies, um, what these companies' plans are, how they're looking financial cash flow wise, you know, and how they're accomplishing their milestones. So for me, Lilium is still in its very early startup stage, okay? So they, they don't, they have a kind of like a, a product, but it's not like a full on product. Um, so, they have a long way to go, but I do have a lot of um, interest in this particular company. And it's not just me who's interested in this company. Apparently, one of my um, favorite hedge funds, uh, Bally Gifford in Scotland, is interested in this company. They have invested in um, Lilium. Not to mention Bally Gifford was an early investor in Tesla. Um, so I do think that they are into innovation, uh, and I'm just planning on holding for the long term. You know, this is like a, for me, it's like a 10 year wait and see what's going to happen with this. So I'm really excited. Um, and we will see where this goes. Now, as you can see here, Lilium has teamed up with some pretty big players, okay? So they are partnered uh, with, you know, Palantir, Honeywell. Um, they have Bally Gifford and Honeywell investing in them, as well as Palantir, BlackRock, Tencent even, which I believe will help them to eventually um, move over into the China market one day with their Lilium jets. So they have a lot of room for growth and potential with all these heavy partnerships. Now, what I'm really excited about is, I don't know if you've ever been to Florida, but you know, flying into Florida, you have a couple major airports, right? So mostly you have the Miami, Fort Lauderdale, where the majority of international uh, flights go into, right? 
Uh, so Miami, Fort Lauderdale is big. And then you have Orlando. A lot of people go to Orlando, right? You have Disney World. Everybody loves Florida or everybody seems to want to come to Florida, but then at the same time, everybody disses Florida. So or they make fun of Florida. So Florida, whatever regard, it's a very interesting place to fly into because once you fly into these places that, are, you know, Florida is huge. So, and let's say you need to go from Orlando to, to like two hours south and there's no airports around that area. The only major airports are really spread out, you know, like Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, Tampa. Everything is kind of really spread out from each other. So where Lilium comes in is it fixes that problem. And that, you know, when you fly in from somewhere and you land in either Miami, Fort Lauderdale, or Orlando, all you have to do is hop on a Lilium jet to take you to one of the other smaller cities that is like, you know, an hour to two hours away. So let's say you fly into Miami or Fort Lauderdale and you want to go to Naples, which is on the other coast, but there's no international airports really nearby or where a plane that you're on would fly into. So you fly into Miami, you hop on a Lilium, and then you fly to Naples in like, what, 25 minutes when normally it's like a two to two and a half hour car ride. So this is going to be huge for people that, you know, travel frequently or that come into Florida and, you know, it's hard to get to those other cities away from these major airports. This is going to fix a huge problem that Florida has. So, you know, I know firsthand, I've seen things in Florida and let me tell you what, Florida needs this. So because I've seen firsthand what Florida needs, I'm definitely willing to invest uh, into this particular uh, solution. So I'm really excited to see this infrastructure get built out. And to show you an example of what type of infrastructure I'm talking about, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the rendition for Lilium's Lake Nona Vertiport in Florida. Now, what makes this exciting is that the Lilium Lake Nona Vertiport is going to be America's first high-speed electric air mobility hub, and it's going to be coming to Lake Nona supposedly by 2025. Now, this is built in partnership with the city of Orlando and Lilium, and basically it's going to be a hub for statewide urban and regional air mobility. So Lake Nona's central location provides the opportunity to connect more than 20 million Floridians in an 186 mile radius. So basically this is going to serve uh, the major cities including Orlando and Tampa and uh, the Lake Nona Vertiport is in position to create more than 100 jobs in the Orlando area with many, many more to come across all of Florida. Now, they're just getting started in Florida, but Lilium plans to expand all over Europe, as you can see in their plan above. Uh, Lilium also plans on entering into the San Francisco area, California, New York, uh, they plan on expanding all over the world, and Florida is only the beginning. And so far, Lilium has linked uh, several major deals so far with Brazil's Azul uh, Airlines, which they have agreed to have, you know, a huge purchase with Lilium. On top of Azul, we have NetJet is agreeing to buy and operate 150 Lilium vehicles. Can you believe that? And they also plan on selling them to private individuals as well. So as you can see, all the different places that, it, that it's going to be, it's going to make a huge impact, you know, in America and abroad in Europe. And, and also, you know, possibly, you know, like I mentioned earlier, in Brazil even. So this is going to be a global company. This isn't just you know, in one region, this is going to be a worldwide international company, which makes it even more exciting. You know, the, the numbers for growth are just unstoppable with this company. You know, going around the world is going to have global growth potential. So if any of you are invested in Lilium, uh, definitely drop a comment below and mention why you chose to invest in Lilium. Um, also, if you, you know, is this the first time you've heard about Lilium? Let me know that as well in the comment below. And be sure to hit the like button. 
If you want to hear more about Lilium and other electric uh, vertical landing and takeoff companies that you want me to delve into, also hit the like button just because you like Stock Trek Girl and you want to see more videos from me. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter under the handle Stock Trek Girl to connect with me along with other fellow fans of the space stock world where you can ask me questions for upcoming videos. So until next time, live long and prosper.